So here we are. Um, <sighs> this is just so much pain that I I can't express because um, it's a very bad feeling because you know whatever has happened has happened to Canadian basketball. Um, obviously, this is nothing that anyone ex expected in Venezuela beat at Canada. Um, and honestly, I'm, like, n like most people didn't expect this, but I'm not surprised because, uh, I'm not saying that they're a good team. They're a bad team, right? They, they won, they lost more than they won, and everything I predicted became a reality two days ago. Two days ago, I, I said that Canada's gonna have a lot of turnovers, number one. Canada's gonna have a lot of rebound, I mean, missed a lot of rebound. Number two, Canada's going to have a lot of pressure, while Venezuela has none. Number three, they all went true. And today, um, everything materialized. It was a great loss. Uh, that's it. Canada didn't, didn't make the Rio 2016 uh, Olympics. And it's very painful to see. Uh, you may think that there are reasons, but that's the way it is. They have too much pressure on their shoulders. And that's definitely the biggest uh, mistake that, you know, how the media has inserted that and how, you know, like, and how the coaches and everyone's reacting towards winning the semifinals against a very bad team, right? I told you guys two days ago right away that that was the wrong mindset to go, and guess what? That was. And... My hope was that, okay, so they're not going to do as well, but hopefully they'll win by, say, five points, two points. I don't care. One point, right? If they, as long as they win, they'll be fine. But it turns out they lost, right, by one point. I don't want to swear, excuse my French, but for sake, you know what I mean? And very, very depressing. I don't even want to break down the game anymore, to be quite honest. Uh, 78 to 79. They fuck. Excuse my French. They screwed up their offense. Right. They had no offense. Countless turnovers. Right. They say Kelly, Olen Kelly Olenek went to play. Okay, he did okay. He wasn't great. He had a lot of turnovers himself. He missed tons of free throws himself. Right. You say that. Um, you know, they had great defense. No, they they did not. Like, their opponents score more than they did. They scored 79 points. And, quite honestly, it's not because of their defense. Their defense is okay, but it wasn't that good. Right? Honestly, you may say that, okay, I'm not that good either. Of course, I'm not a good basketball player, but I feel sad how the way we came away losing the semifinals. Right? Not making the Rio Olympics. It's very depressing. I, th I think for once, all Canadians thought about the fact that, okay, we went to the, the real Olympics because we're playing Venezuela, which is a very bad team. It didn't happen. It just didn't happen. And uh, hopefully, uh, that's a take-home message for, for the Canadian team as well, right? They say that, okay, they're going to be better four years from now on. Of course they're going to be, maybe they're going to be better. I'm not even going to say, of course they're going to be better. Because in the end, the problem is not that they had better team, they had better defense, they had better muscle, they had better height, they had better players from the better teams. No, it's about how the pressure caused all the mistakes and that didn't happen, right? Even the United States were defeated by Puerto Rico. Even the United States was defeated by, you know, uh, Lith Lithuania, I believe. Right. Why? It's not because their player wasn't from the best, best team who has the best muscle, best speed. No, it's just because that they had too much pressure. And I believe Canadians are going to face this pressure problem forever until they figure out that, okay, we have to move on from here. Right? If, if that's not the case, they're not going to win in four years. They're not going to win in eight years. They're not going to get to the Rio finals. I mean, the, the Tokyo uh, Olympics. And I see that's very bad. And honestly, um, 
don't blame the, the the athletes at all. They tried their best. They had too much pressure on their shoulders. Blame the TSN. Blame the Toronto Star. Blame blame whatever it is, right? And very depressing to see. So if you agree with my thoughts, please like and thumb up. Otherwise, you know I need a chill and or get better from this, feeling better from this loss. Peace.